applauding the effort by the 17-year-old. Martina hits a great drop ball here, but look, she has her racket down. She's not really thinking Zvereva's going to get it, and it's just wide. I think that's a problem. You know, she gets a little cocky up there and uh, doesn't think people are going to run that fast. game low 30 and the key to that was she ran around what a ball that would have been to her backhand and just bashed it up the line for a winner now, but on that point there's something that a lot of players have been doing usually no one used to attack Martina, especially a baseliner, and come in, and I've seen a lot of them do it against her. She's lost a little bit of that, you know, psychological edge that she had over a lot of players. Too good is right. But Navratilova, with a good return, hesitant, gets caught inside the baseline. And also, she went cross-court to Vereva's strength. saw yesterday against Monlikova, where they were all out bashing. She played aggressively, and with force, she's much more tentative today. And she came in twice as many times as Hanna Monlikova did. This kid's groundies have her wary. Well, that was to break back. They may have you know make her wary but the thing is when you're a serve and volleyer you've got to keep coming in and here she lets the ball bounce you know martina never before She's two yards behind where she should be right never before she never let the ball bounce no. and that's what i meant about that drop yes, shot sir. Shelling up to the player's box, a uh, little terrace off their room. You see some of the other competitors and coaches and uh, tennis family up there. Those are the vultures, much like court two at Wimbledon. Everybody gathers and kibitzes. It's kind of fun up there. <laughs> I mentioned the worst scenario at the, uh, the beginning of the match, and that's if Martina's serving volley doesn't really work, and she starts to stay back and try to rally. Well, the problem is, Vereva's already broken her serve, and now she's rallying from the baseline. If Martina doesn't behave like Martina, then she's lost. Yeah. And here she gets a second ball. Let's see if she attacks. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Top spin line. Zvereva survives a break point against her and leads 4-1 in the opening set. Moored in here at center court as Martina Navratilova serves 1-4. You know, 
know, when Martina's serving well, her disposition improves, her return improves, everything improves. Does when it yours? Always, always. <laughs> Martina, half volleys this. Now she's really not, look, her racket's down, she's not ready, and she lets this ball get by, and she's gonna try it between the legs there, but it's too, uh, too late. Wow, <laughs> that ball was just out. Because it was well hit, had no chance. A great serve, that's textbook from Grantalova. And you think about it, every time she's come to net, she is playing Verba strength. You know, sometimes I think, what is her coach telling her? Oh! I mean, Zvera's forehand is pretty good, but it's not as good as her backhand. Speaking of her coach, uh, that is a revolving door proposition. Uh, our former coach, Virginia Wade, is here. Uh, she has a new man in that position, does she not? Almost everybody here has been her coach at one time or another. <laughs> and there's that backhand. That's good control with it. Really pinpoint. Zverba's always ready. She's got that back, and she can go so many places with that backhand. She seems to get psyched for Martina. I, you know, I've seen her play other people where she played like a dog. Great point. Craig Carton is... Yes. Novratilova's coach this year, last year at this time at uh, Hilton Head, it was Tim Gullickson. Very Tim. interesting article on uh, Novratilova in a current tennis magazine. Tim says it was an amicable party, and Cardin used to play at the University of Texas. In that ad court, that big left-handed sweeping serve of Novratilova is still a powerful weapon. That's the big advantage of being a lefty. Opposite spin. And you're right, Joanne. She plays the serve in Bali and looks very good at it. She certainly does. Marat Zverev, the father of the young Russian, a good player in Russian terms in his day from Minsk, where he coaches tennis. physical education instructor for the state and an alumnus of the college that Natalia attends. Yes. Double fold number two. gets a bad bounce on this and she's going for the drop shot. <laughs> oh. Verva stands inside to receive the second serve. She's always ready to take it on the rise. She doesn't let the ball bounce much at all. Oh. It's wide. A tough game for Nebraska, but she holds. Verba leading 4-2.
Yeah. Martina is talking about a lot of unnecessary stuff. Noise on the balcony, move a sign because it's sunny. I mean, there are a lot of extraneous things that are, you know, affecting Martina's concentration. Whereas before, forget it, she could chip in charge uh, if there was a hurricane going on. Tremendously today. And what she does is she jumps on the ball. It's coming up and she just, she looks like Steffi Groff yep. there. Quite a similar portrait. Martina underestimates Zverev's speed. You have got that down, bud, because Martina's standing there practically with her hands in her pocket. She drop shots, her racket's down by her side, and all of a sudden she goes, oh. 15, Natalia, unlucky to lose that point. I think Natalia's been working on those sprints. Her coach, Olga Morozova, has said, you know, she said, I, I realize she hasn't competed well a couple of times. She said, our kids mature later. She said, let her grow. And I think that's right. Terrific saves by Zvereva early in the point. She really battled to stay in that one. Made a great save, hit up a, a really high lob. And you know what? Zvereva now is playing Martina's forehand. Martina has has no psych job going for it. Used to be she'd pick up a couple games and set free. Oh. A point away from a 5-2 lead. And this is what I mean, Zvereva coming into net, taking the short ball, wailing it down to Martina's forehand. Now nobody's afraid of anything in Martina's game. And where was she? Zvereva with a squeal, gets to the forehand and holds. And when we return, it'll be Navratilova serving to stay in the first set. Just as she hit it. Now we go to 5 2. Zverevo leading in uh, Navratilova trying to stay in this opening set. She argued. She appealed to umpire Steve Ulrich. She said that's a distraction. He said no. She hit it. She screamed as she struck the ball, not while you were trying to return it. And I think he was correct. But again, Joanne, it points out that Martina bothered seemingly by a lot of action and even sounds away from her own play. Oh, yeah. I mean, she is totally losing it here mentally. She's not concentrating on her game. That's been the problem. That's when I said two weeks ago when she called on Renee Richards for some consultation. Renee has always been able to call Martina and point out the saliencies. That looked wide. Sure did. But she's in a losing frame of mind right now. Well, the thing is, the only time you get calmer is when you play better. That's it. I mean, and you've got to work hard to play better. And she has not really, I don't think, put in the hours. I think even the... Uh most modest hacker in the world can identify with that, and it is true at, at all levels. 
amazing how calm I get when I make two shots in a row. Yeah. Didn't see that yesterday in the press tournament, Dick. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. <laughs> She can slice it. She can do so many things with it. Here she gets ready early and just flings it cross court for the winner. Paints it right in that corner. Two points from the set. And Zverova is totally taking Martina's serve and volley game away from her because of the great returns of serve. inside that baseline. She's like a ping pong player back there. Two set points for Zveraba. Look at Martina's face. You know, she she looks so sad and, you know, she's trying to get it back, but she's doing nothing here. It used to be, you know, I played Martina plenty of times. She'd serve in volley on clay first and second serve. She didn't care who was over there. And she makes a great volley here. Her skills have not deteriorated. Makes a good little drop volley there to tie it up with Deuce. even though the wind seems to indicate that the wind's blowing this way toward Martina. The ball's carrying uh, most of all towards Zverova's end. Second set point. Opening set 6-2. And here it is. Martinez confident shot the forehand to Zverevas. And look who turns up the winner. Well, we've been uh, somewhat critical of Martina Navratilova, at least her uh, emotional, temperamental part of her game in that first set. But let's not forget that she is uh, the second best player in the world, even as we speak. And maybe... Uh, we're expecting too much from her, remembering too much from the past. Well, it's because really nothing's different. She's just as fast as strong. Ooh, ace. And with that ace, her first, Zverba seemingly picking up strength. Now, that's why it's so difficult to see Martina like this, because her skills are there. The skills are there. She's fit. But it's the tennis version of the yips that you hear golfers talking about. And Rod Laver, at about the same age, was the same. He was superbly fit. He was competitive. But on those big points, the ball would fly on him. It was just a deterioration of the nerves. But also, I think, you know, when you have, a, if you're losing, she's approaching the backhand you got to try something else. You know, I think Mike Estep was her best coach. He was so prepared. He prepared her so well for all her matches. She's now coaching Hanna Monlikova, and uh, she looked very good yesterday. The best Definitely. in quite some time. She's pulled herself out of the doldrums, which is very nice to see. Just long. So Navratilova with a chance to break Zverova to open this second set. You know, Mike Kestep, he has a little book. He writes down everything 
about any player he sees. And when you go out to play, you know what their weaknesses are, and you know how to play them. Broken. Navratilova takes the early lead in the second set. They say the first cut. The elegant ladies of tennis. Oh, was she a joy to watch. Yvonne Goulagong Colley. She now represents Sears Goulagong Active Wear. Won all the big ones, all the Grand Slam titles except the U.S. Open. That was a difficult one for her because Chris Everett was always there on clay, although she did play a magnificent final on grass, 1974, one of the great women's finals I've ever seen. Billie Jean King beat her in three. That Forest Hill Stadium was rocking. Martina. Billie Jean King's here, I believe. Saw her last night. She has a wonderful book out. We, we have come a long way with Cindy Starr, Dave, and I learned so much about tennis from reading that book. And maybe it's immodest to say, but there aren't many tennis books I can say that about. And a wonderful book. We have come a long, a, a long way about women's tennis. Let's look at the uh, first set statistics. Verva winning that 6-2. Brantelova first serve percentage under 50%. And three more winners for Zvereva. Well, you don't see that often on a Navratilova report card. Yeah, especially when you're playing someone who is usually at the baseline. Uh, that's a tough way to go. Let's see how Zvereva plays after winning the first set. She's dropped the opening game of the second set on her serve. She flies it long, 30-15. Very important game for Navratilova. Can she consolidate? Can she show the kid the first set was just a mistake? That she's going to take over. There's that big serve into the ad court, 40-15. Well, but I keep looking back to the French Open, where Zvereva beat her, and Martina was whining about it was too windy and all this stuff, and it was on clay, kind of similar conditions to this. She just let everything get to her. Pretty good reply on that forehand from Zvereva. Zvereva just, uh, it seems like Martina's left-handed kick serve doesn't bother, the wide serve, she just moves in a step and clubs it. Ratulova holds, two love in the second set, Zvereva won the first. Yeah, with us, the MetLife Blimp uh, worked with NBC Sports many times, including Super Bowl 23 from Miami, and in July will be in Anaheim, California for the 1989 All-Star Game. Captain Mike Farmer from Hunters Creek, Florida, the pilot. Talking about service percentage, I mean, it's bad of a serve. Starts that point up, that's all. And finally, Steffi Groff rested the title as the women's best. And just continues to underline that with exclamation points. And curiously, since Steffi took over the number one ranking, August 87, she and Martina have met only twice. Martina, great form. She runs around her back in there. She's got, she's got the shots. And now it's Verova that seems to be pressing a bit. Three break chances for Navratilova to take a three-love lead in the second.
Lova with a three love lead, up two breaks in the second. flew into the stands caught by a woman named Georgia Hook and people laughing good play by Georgia cracker jack play by Georgia mm. Good play. She was hesitant about it and missed it. But to cut off the looping ball is a very good play. And I notice Arancha Sanchez is starting to do that a little bit, using her speed. Wasn't the greatest looking volley, but, no, but good play. Excellent idea. And look at her take that ball. She's a clay quarter brought up in Europe, no doubt. But she doesn't play clay court tennis the way anybody else does, because she takes the ball so early. Gadu with a lefty. Oh, and something has gone out of Natalia's game for the moment. Well, Martina's not really doing anything different from the first set. Just that Natalia's making all the errors now. where Martina played the ball. Martina, it's it's amazing to me. I've, I've watched her play so many years, and she comes in, watch where her feet are. She's right at the service line. She's behind the service line. And you can see she's pretty upset with that play. As well she should be. We just spun that one right back. So from 40, 15 to just... In part, the fact that Martina is a step short or maybe a step and a half short, is that because Zvereva gets to the ball so quickly and the return is on its way? That's one factor. I think another is Martina's unwillingness to charge on or the serve Or when volley. you're not sure your serve's going in, you're kind of looking to see if it goes in first, so you're always a half step back. A combination of all those things. Martina had about three chances there to chip and go in, and she stayed back on all. But of course, she was playing the strength of Zvereva. She was going right at her backhand every time. And now it's 1-3, Zvereva serve. And you notice her, her approach shots. Martina's approach shots, long, it's short. She's approaching, she's almost running in before she's made the approach shot. A drive after all those sliced backhands. Unforced errors turned around. Navratilova playing much better the second set. Well, 
Yesterday I watched Zverva play her Fed Cup teammate, Lila Meshki, and she played way behind the baseline. They were lobbing themselves silly over there on court 15. It was unbelievable. Just why? So Zverva definitely has a game plan when she plays Martina because she plays Lila Meshki. Hey, if she doesn't play up on the baseline. She was playing six feet back of the baseline. They love so much. It was really a boring match. Well, she says, I'm playing a Russian. We both ought to play like Russians. Speaking of the Soviets, you know, Savchenko and Meshki and Zverba, they've got some fine young players, do they not? They see where they're coming. Chesnikov, Volkov. There are some good ones. She'll get it. Well, there's those great hands of Nebratilova right down on her knee to chip that winner in. I mean, it was a great shot, but Navratilova is still standing in a pretty dicey position. She's there in no man's land. No woman's land, Joanne, please. <laughs> serve this set. That's three straight times she's been broken. Navratilova leads 4-1. Our semifinal action from the Family Circle Cup Major League Baseball debuts on this Saturday. Dodgers and Braves are Pirates and Cubs and Marv Albert will have a special left-hander as his guest on Major League Baseball. President George Bush will reflect on his days as the Yale baseball captain. Stay with us. Major League Baseball next. Martina's parents only a few feet away from her, to her right, taking the sun. Clay court point, wasn't it? It really was. And I think Zvereva has definitely improved her quickness. She gets over here and manages uh, in a great way. I mean, she just bombs that up the line. Well, she's going to improve a lot. And as her coach, Olga Morozova, says, be patient with her. They didn't enter in the Australian Open this year. She says, we don't want to rush her. Woo! Well, right in contrast to uh, most young talented U.S. players where we really rush them through, force feed them. They're pros at such an early age and all the pressures that go with it. Full schedules. There's too much of that, all right. I was at the Easter Bowl two weeks ago, the top junior tournament, and boy, some of those parents are tough. Scary. Oh, what a serve. Third a double fault, and with it, three more chances to break. Tough to hold serve in the second set. Zvereva has lost at three games, and Navratilova about to lose at two out of her three. And Zvereva still is standing on the baseline, right in front of it, taking that ball early. Case you're just joining us, semifinals of the 17th Family Circle Cup, and Natalia Zverova, number nine in the world from the Soviet Union, won the opening set 6-2. Navratilova serving 15-40, leading 4-1 in the second. And has been broken. And she is in a constant dialogue with herself in this match. And Zvereva showed us the flexibility of that backhand, an inside-out angle return. She's pretty amazing. Her backhand is not like your typical 
uh, two-handed backhand because she really hits it flat a lot of times cross court. Then she can dip it, lob it, slice it with one hand. And there's her first ace. Oh, make that number two. Did have one early in the match. Something she uh, has not shown talent for in the second set is holding her serve. She's lost at three straight service games. point by Navratilova. Zvereva standing back there waiting, 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 and she could have come into net. A mistake. But here, Martina takes the net, and she's right up here. Puts Zvereva, the pressure on. She's a good lobber, the Soviet kid, but she doesn't take advantage of it. Well, when you said they were going to take their time with Natalia, one thing is Olga wanted to, her to work on her volley, but she said she's stubborn. She has to see that uh, it's going to work for her before she comes in. Lines one came out and confirmed the fact that the ball was out. Here it is. Up to Reed from our Tough angle. Martina's typical thing here where she gets the lead. 4-1. She has her serve. She gets broken and now she's down 40-15. She lets people back into the match. Craig Carton, Martinez parents. A little uh, edgy here, as are the Navratilova fans after she has gone from two breaks up in this second set and now battling for the 4 3 lead down a set. Things have loosened up for her parents and they're being permitted to travel by the Czechoslovak government. You remember just 10 years ago when Martina won her second Wimbledon, what a great story it was that her mother was allowed to go to London after a great deal of red tape had been cut. This game could decide the match. If Martina doesn't play a strong game. get out of that with a point because on her serve she's being forced to stand back and rally and although I look at her ground strokes and I say hey I'd like to have those groundies who wouldn't uh, the, her game is serve and volley chip and charge I mean you don't want to lose when you're number two in the world but if you're gonna lose play your own game play your own style <laughs> Zverva, her strength, the passing shot. Martina gets passed. Lines person said good, good. But overruled. overruled. But yeah. Steve Ulrich in the chair, ruling that ball long. 15-30. So Martina falls under 50% on her approaches. She's made 24 of 49 points one. Oh. 
Martina, in a way, when she comes up to hit a lot of balls, she lets go by her. She's almost hoping they're going to be out instead of saying, I can get this, I'll hit a winner. Martina lost her balance in charging the net. And she hit a good serve here, and she trips on the line there as she's going for that ball. Yeah, we first saw young Zvereva as a junior champion, almost won the junior grand slam in 87. Won everything but the Australian. news last year, year ago in Paris when she upset Navratilova. because she has things in her game that she doesn't like. Well, you know, we see her play Martina all the time. Papa's <laughs> Agonizing, in a way. <laughs> well, we see Martina playing Chris all the time, and, and it looks so good because they're very comfortable with each other, and there's no nerves yeah. in that match. No surprises. Right, and we're here. It's a total surprise, and she's nervous all the time. <laughs> Martina, not even close. Way off on that first serve. And a rarely used slice caught Martina unprepared. Well, that's something else that Zvereva has added to her game. And if you want to move, nowadays, if you want to move up a level, every two-hander has got to have a good one-handed slice. Mott Bielander started that trend. Big serve. Bratilova, point from 5-3. Well, she had two points to be up for love. forcing the third set. That was a creaky game. Now Martina will push hard. If she could break, she'd start her serve the third set. tough shot when somebody hits you that little dink slice to go a big topspin down the line. It's high part of the net there. You're quite taken by that backhand, aren't you? I am. I was just wondering, and I better wonder aloud, I guess, how she could get so much of an angle on a ball that close to her body with a motion that she also oh. uses to hit down the line. It really does disguise. That is one of the splendid backhands. Nice volley. You know, this is a good place to watch Zverova's backhand because she's sort of like a pitcher. She hides her racket behind her there, and then she goes, but Martina's right on the ball and makes the good volley. But that's what's so difficult. She hides her racket. You don't know where she's going to hit the ball. The ball's getting off the line. And with it, two set points, Navratilova.
that was what you call the bunt approach, where you just hit it and you don't follow through, and the ball flies. two break points it's deuce Zvanova no fear she's playing Martina's back and she comes into the net takes over where Martina is queen and it's back to deuce third set point for Martina win just as uh, Zverba made her toss. It would be a first serve, I believe, the Lions woman overruled herself. Now, even though Martina missed that, it was a good play. She went for it. You know, you get a, a serve that's sitting up like that, you can't just play it down the middle, especially against Natalia Zverba, who's got some big guns from both sides. chance for Navratilova to win this second set. Ooh, big serve by Zvedova. Tolova battling through that second set and captured it 6-3. Navratilova opens the third set. And this game right here, does she establish herself as the great champion? And certainly she is a great champion. Martina should have hoped that a left would be called there. And Zvedova, Martina comes in on the ball here. A little Piece bit short. Paper, see it there? Now, he could have called a let because it was in Zvedova's sight line, but she just yeah. hit a winner. No, she's, <laughs> see, there's the difference. Zvedova sees nothing but the ball. Martina sees and hears everything. kicking up a little more. Through the first two sets, Navratilova's uh, service percentage improving, but uh, Zverba still leads in winners by three. Ooh, and look at startling. those errors, Dick. 29 for Navratilova, 19 for Zverba. Whew. That's amazing. That That's a plus 13 when you add the errors and the winners. Oh. Zverba's count. Fourth double fault. When they last met, uh, the Slims of New England on the carpet indoors. Zverva won the first set in a tie break, and then the Brantilova rallied 6-4, 6-3 to take the match. What a wonderful match it was. And the night before, Zverva had beaten Chris Everett, which was a great breakthrough for her, winning 13 points outright on drop shots. And Chris, who is really the wo woman who seemed to invent the drop shots, had never seen anything like that. Boy, and is that frustrating, too, because, you know, anybody can drop shot. They may not be able to hit a four and a backhand, but they can drop shot. You pointed out how important this opening game 
is especially for Navratilova, and she faces a break point right off the bat. Well, because she held her serve and then broke Zvereva, and she's sort of on a little bit of a roll. Just long, didn't miss for much. It's been a topsy-turvy match. If Martina loses serve, it'll be the ninth break in 18 games. costly to Navratilova. We should also point out that in aces, Martina yet to score an ace, and Natalia has two. But when you think back three, four, five years ago, even in Navratilova, when you thought about the power game and aces and steady play and forcing mistakes by the opponent, things have changed. Now that's what she would hope to do the rest of this match. Take the serve, attack, attack. Put some pressure on Natalia. She made you so nervous. She just, you know, take a step to the net and think, oh, she's coming in. Now nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, hey, come on in. We passed you like nine times already. The psychology shifts. Now three shots for Navratilova to break back. Now, Martina drop shots here, but she doesn't expect she's winning the point. She's ready, her racket's up, and it's an easy passing shot. Well, there's the drop Woo! shot. First time, and she does it so well, usually with the backhand. Zverva said, hey, you drop shot me, take that. She waits to the last second and she's a great drop shot. Make it, don't guide it. That is a key play. That's a key comment there because that's what you do when you're nervous. You guide things. Oh, what a place to come up with an ace, her third. She's erased all three great chances for Nebrantilova. And for someone who's not noted for the big serve, she's the one with all the aces. But look at the accuracy right on the center stripe. play you know Martinez trying to like loop it up change it well that's why is she doing that that's Verva's play Martina hit it come to the net make her pass you what a huge game for Natalia if she comes out of love 40 she does just that and leads to love That's got a burn inside Nebratilova, sitting on three chances to break back. Well, remember two of the best French finals we've seen were Navratilova and Everett. And Everett was down, Martina was toying with her, serving and volleying on red clay. Then she decided to stay back and rally. Chris got grooved, and boom, Chris wins the match in three sets. And that's what's happening. Oh! And wins 
the point with a very athletic overhead. A sky hook. And what makes it so difficult is Zverba disguises her shot so Martina just gets it and Zverba once again gets that next ball back. I'm impressed, though, the way Zverva continues to run down tough, angled volleys. She has improved her foot speed. She'd like to improve her earnings. Glasnost hasn't covered the tennis players yet. They don't get to keep all their prize money. And they don't like it. Right in contrast to the favors that the USSR offered their Olympians in the rewards for gold medals. Some of those gymnasts went home with uh, several hundred thousand dollars, or came home to them. Oof. Best serving game. At love, Nebratilova holds, but she trails a break. Sverava, 2-1 in the third. I'm running this show. You got a problem with that, you get yourself another director. Somebody ought to drive a stake through your heart. What is this? Some kind of moronic practice? Which one of you killed him? I killed him myself. I've never been happier to see a man dead. I'm not sorry I did it. Debbie Reynolds stars in a deadly whodunit. You couldn't be more right. Harry Mason, the case of the musical murder, Sunday. If your bank shuts you out at 3 o'clock, or 4 o'clock, or even 5 o'clock, Walk into Wells Fargo. Our doors are now open from 9 to 6, Monday through Friday. Longer than any other major bank in California. So if your bank can't keep up with your banking needs, open your account with the bank that can. 9 to 6, Monday through Friday. Wells Fargo comes through again. Can I get this tomorrow? You want it when? <laughs> tomorrow! <laughs> At other stores, getting alterations by tomorrow can be a real problem. But with CNR's new Express Tailoring, tomorrow go. isn't a problem for normal alterations. Oh, yeah, we can have this for you by tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow! Buy your suit, sport coat, or slacks today, and you can have it ready tomorrow. Express Tailoring, only at CNR. Hi, Larry Huffman for your Jeep Eagle dealers. Each spring, Wally and I travel around looking for great deals on Jeep vehicles. Save up to $1,950 on select Jeep Comanches. Terrific savings right now with a special options package. And Wally, there's even more. Get amazing deals on Grand Wagoneer, plus $1,000 cash back. Incredible deals on the whole Jeep family, everywhere we go. Right, Wally? <laughs> Only at your California Jeep Eagle dealers. Channel 4 Sports, sponsored by Wells Fargo Bank. What a beautiful setting amongst the Carolina Pines here at Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, and the MetLife Blimp offering those terrific shots from above. National media tour will cover over 12,000 miles this year across this great country. Sverva serving with a 2-1 lead in the third. Well, Martina a bit over 50% now on her approaches. Much busier than Sverva, as expected. Natalia from the baseline, stroking that backhand especially with force and effectiveness. There's another. Oh. Whoa. Inside out backhand. And Martina makes a good get over here, but this pops up in the air as Vereva swings at it. Swing volley, not uh, not very pretty, but very effective. Zverva. She works on Martina's backhand, keeps playing it, moves her over, then she belts it down the line to Martina's strength, and she's got herself a point. 
saw those last two points, Martin in action, and the beauty of the slide on Clay. Tennis on clay is uh, attractive. Uh, there is a ballet-like uh, feeling for those who can slide well into their shots. I think well, of Mar uh, Mats Wielander, especially on the men's side. But Martina, she slides, and every time I see her sliding back there, she loses a point because it means she's at the baseline. It's pretty, but deadly for Martina. late. She had a chance to play a floater on the volley. And Verva comes in. She just whips her forehand. She passes Martina very easily. But that, you know, Martina's just letting her chances slip by. Martina gets into the net, but then Zverva. She's hoping. She's hoping. She's hoping. Once again, it's the hope play. And you're right, bud. She's been hoping a lot of balls go out instead of saying, it's here, I can hit it. You know, that's the way people used to play against Martina. A ball would go by and they go, oh, please go out. Hey, the baseball player base is loaded. 3-2 count takes a strike right down the middle. The manager says, what happens? He said, I was guessing ball. <laughs> I'd say this is a must game for Navratilova. <laughs> Trails 1-3 in the third. Zvereva opening with a 6-2 first set win. Bratilova rallied at 6-3 in the second. Woo! Did oh. she break the string? Yeah. You could hear the pop, but it flew successfully into the court for Zvereva. Yeah, Martina and Zvereva use the same racket. Her string pops, and it's a winner. That is so lucky. Doesn't happen very often that way. The co-ed from Minsk Institute of Physical Education. A fresh one. Now we said at the top of the show, Zverev's got to take it away with her passing shots, Martina's net game. Now Zverev's doing with her, with her net game. Not very pretty, but hey, once again a winner. There you go. There's the first ace from the Brasilova. Thirty all, one three in the third. Left court. Martina broken just five times in the first three matches of this Family Circle Cup, and she's been broken five times today, and Zvereva. Craig Carden, Martina's new coach. Sitting on another chance to break. Not enjoying his pre-lunch vision here. Again, she's up two 
Bush, the new first hacker. Nice to see a tennis playing president. Oh, oh nice shot. Crowd now pulling for a rally by Navratilova. Many, of course, this weekend expecting one against two. Steffi Groff and Martina Navratilova in the finals, and Zverba trying to spoil that matchup. Oh, yeah. A little net board. Yep. Okay, but think about this. Who was the first one at the net? Yep. It was Zverba. I mean, this is a twist of fate. <laughs> the baseliner is now approaching and making the volley. floating it long to that end. Well, the thing is, Martina used to be on her toes for everything. Anybody even hit a shot that had an arc on it, she was already into the net making a volley. Yeah. This time, she lets the ball bounce, and she sort of floats it back. I mean, what is that? Sets. Vareva leads 4 1. Long again. Well, the story of this match may have well be told in the first two games of this set. The Brat Loba broken, and then she had Vareva down. Love 40. In the second game, and Zverova rattled off five straight points. missed here in this semi-final action Saturday. And Talia Zverova has really been Martina's thorn. She certainly has, and she's played well. She's taken the net away from Martina with her passing shots as well as her own volley. So she's just played great here. And Martina, she's had chances, and she let him slip. Down two breaks, 1-5 now in the third. sometimes can be used to tell any story you want and they do lie at times but not today you look at the pertinent numbers in this match and they all belong to Zverova more winners less unforced errors more aces less double faults there's the big serve caught the line you know Martinez the type of player we shouldn't count her out now maybe she maybe she's mad at herself and she'll make a comeback Got nothing to lose now. She exactly. might as well go for it. Right now, Martina should be loose. She's down 5-1. She should get up there. I mean, she should really just say, hey, what have I got to lose here? Two points from the match. Zverova. Probably the one most consistent part of Navratilova's game today has been that big serve in the ad court. But it could be a big serve, but she's serving it to the same place a lot of the times. And with another winning backhand, Natalia Zverova with Papa watching. 
is a point from the finals tomorrow. Steffi Graf and Arancha Sanchez will play in the second match today to determine the other participant. In tomorrow's final, you'll see that here live tomorrow.